Every so often a piece of tech news drops that makes the entire industry pause, holding its breath in anticipation. These are the moments that redefine what's possible, sending shockwaves through boardrooms, labs, and newsrooms around the globe. This is undeniably one of those moments, a true game changer that no one saw coming. Out of nowhere, Huawei, long thought cornered and constrained by relentless international sanctions, announced a breakthrough, a 3 nanometer chip, a feat that seemed out of reach for them just months ago. That's the absolute cutting edge of semiconductor technology, a level of sophistication and miniaturization that, until now, only giants like TSMC and Samsung had managed to achieve. The reaction across the tech world? Disbelief, shock, and awe, people everywhere scrambling to understand how this was even possible. How did a company supposedly cut off from the world's most advanced chip-making tools and expertise manage to pull off such a technological leap? For years, the prevailing narrative was clear. Without access to Western technology, especially the ultra-advanced EUV lithography machines from ASML, this kind of progress was simply impossible for any Chinese company. But Huawei's announcement didn't just challenge that belief, it shattered it completely, hinting that China has quietly, and perhaps secretly, built its own path to the technological summit. This isn't just about a new processor or a single product launch, it's a seismic shift in the global tech landscape, signaling the rise of a new major player and the possible emergence of a parallel tech ecosystem that could reshape the industry for years to come. The world is no longer asking if Huawei could do it, but instead, everyone is watching closely, wondering what bold move they'll make next, and how the rest of the world will respond. To truly grasp why Huawei's recent news is making such waves across the globe, you need to delve into the rich history of the semiconductor industry, which has long been dominated by Western powers. For many decades, companies from the US, Europe, and their Asian allies have controlled every critical step in the semiconductor supply chain. American giants like Intel and Nvidia have been at the forefront of chip design, setting the standards for innovation and performance. Meanwhile, the essential EDA software crucial for chip creation has been dominated by U.S. companies such as Cadence and Synopsys, providing the tools needed for intricate designs. These designs were then sent to fabrication plants like TSMC in Taiwan or Samsung in South Korea, the only places equipped with the technology to mass-produce the most advanced chips. At the core of this process were ASML's EUV lithography machines, exclusively manufactured in the Netherlands, which are indispensable for creating cutting-edge chips. This intricate network formed a tightly controlled global supply chain, ensuring that the West maintained its grip on the industry. If you wanted access to the best chips, you had to adhere to the rules set by Western companies, which held the keys to the kingdom. The West held all the cards, from innovative design to state-of-the-art manufacturing equipment, making it nearly impossible for any outsider to catch up or break into the market. This system not only powered global innovation but also served as a significant tool of geopolitical influence, shaping international relations. For years, even Chinese companies had to rely on this ecosystem, facing sky-high barriers to entry that seemed insurmountable. The knowledge, patents, and billion-dollar machines were securely locked away, making the emergence of a true competitor appear impossible. That's precisely what makes Huawei's breakthrough so shocking and significant, as it challenges the established order in a way few thought possible. Huawei's breakthrough began not in a moment of triumph, but in the midst of adversity. The turning point came when the global system, once open and interconnected, suddenly turned against them, isolating China from critical technology and partnerships. Starting in 2019, U.S. sanctions cut Huawei off from advanced chips, EDA software and any equipment with U.S. tech. These restrictions were designed to halt China's progress in high-tech industries, especially in semiconductors and telecommunications. Most predicted this would end Huawei's run as a global tech leader. Industry experts and analysts around the world expected the company to falter under the weight of these unprecedented challenges. Their smartphone market share plummeted, and their 5G business faced immense pressure. The company's global presence shrank, and its future looked uncertain. But instead of collapsing, China doubled down. The crisis became a rallying point for the entire nation, uniting government industry and academia in a common cause. The government poured billions into domestic semiconductors, aiming to replicate the entire supply chain at home. Massive investments flowed into research, development and manufacturing with the goal of closing the technology gap. 
The goal was clear, not just to participate in the global tech race but to become truly self-sufficient, able to innovate and produce at the highest level without relying on foreign technology. This pressure sparked a wave of innovation. Chinese engineers and scientists faced with new obstacles, found creative solutions and pushed the boundaries of what was possible. SMIC, China's top foundry, pushed forward without ASML's tools, developing alternative processes and technologies to keep production moving. Huawei reportedly assembled its brightest minds to tackle the hardest challenge, building a homegrown EUV machine, a feat that would have seemed impossible just a few years earlier. The sanctions, meant to cripple, instead became a catalyst for China's tech ambitions. What was intended as a roadblock became a powerful motivator, accelerating the nation's drive for independence. The result? A race to technological independence with China more determined than ever to lead the next era of innovation and secure its place on the world stage. The big question how did Huawei build its own EUV machine, a feat only ASML has managed? Reports suggest Huawei with the Chinese Academy of Sciences developed a new approach, laser-driven plasma LDP, instead of ASML's laser-produced plasma LPP. This method could use different materials or physics, potentially bypassing ASML's patents. If true, Huawei's LDP system might be simpler, more stable and cheaper to build. ASML's machines are massive, expensive and complex. A streamlined alternative could accelerate China's chip production, its innovation born from necessity. When you can't buy the best, you invent your own. But skepticism remains. Building a reliable EUV machine is one of the hardest engineering feats on Earth. The road from prototype to mass production is long and many technical hurdles remain. So what does a 3 nanometer chip mean for you? Smaller transistors mean more power and efficiency, your phone gets faster, more responsive, and battery life improves. Imagine apps opening instantly, games running smoother, and phones lasting two days on a charge. On-device AI becomes more powerful, enabling real-time translation and advanced photo processing without the cloud. In AI, these chips make data centers vastly more efficient, accelerating the pace of innovation. The automotive industry benefits too, Self-driving cars need massive processing power, and 3 nanometers chips deliver it with high efficiency. This leap could make fully autonomous vehicles safer and more capable. With Huawei's breakthrough this tech could arrive in smart devices and vehicles sooner than expected. The impact goes far beyond phones, it's a game-changer for everything from AI to cars. The future of tech just got a lot more interesting. While the 3 nanometers chip grabs headlines, Huawei is also working on Nearlink, a potential replacement for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Nearlink promises six times the speed of Bluetooth, lower latency, and far more stable connections. It's designed for high-res audio, lag-free gaming, and seamless smart home integration. Nearlink can connect 10 times more devices than Bluetooth, perfect for homes packed with smart gadgets. It's also far more energy efficient, using 60% less power. Think earbuds that last days, or a smartwatch that needs charging once a month. For users, this means faster, more reliable, and longer-lasting wireless connections. Huawei isn't just offering an alternative, it's proposing a fundamental upgrade to how our devices connect. If Nearlink takes off, it could redefine wireless for the next decade. Huawei's advances are unfolding amid a deepening US-China trade war. The US has imposed steep tariffs on Chinese goods including semiconductors aiming to protect American industries, these tariffs ripple through the economy, raising prices and disrupting supply chains. China sees them as protectionist, vowing to retaliate and escalating tensions further. This conflict is about more than economics. It's a race for technological supremacy and national security. Both sides are building separate supply chains creating two diverging tech spheres. In this environment, Huawei's 3 nanometers chip and Nearlink aren't just products, they're symbols of China's push for self-reliance. By developing core technologies, China aims to be immune to foreign restrictions. The trade war and tech race are now two sides of the same coin. The outcome will shape the global economic and political landscape for years. Put it all together, Huawei's 3 nanometers chip, a homegrown EUV machine, Nearlink, and the trade war. And the picture is clear. This is about more than business, it's a realignment of global power with technology at the center. For decades, semiconductor leadership was a pillar of American influence. Huawei's achievements challenge that order, hinting at a future with two rival tech ecosystems. Countries may soon have to choose a line with the US-led or China-led system. This could reshape everything from international relations to the internet itself. 
the nation that controls Silicon AI and connectivity will set the rules for the digital age. Huawei's story is a reminder, in today's world, technology is power. The era of a single-tech superpower may be ending, ushering in a new, more complex and competitive era.